So good afternoon, students. Once again, in second session, where you are going to uh, address by Professor Piyush Joshi, who is institute level nodal officer, means he is going to guide you the scholarships which are available on national scholarship portal. The scholarship initiatives given by government of India. So these scholarships are available for all students apart from the scholarship facility that uh, you are getting from Maha DBT. In parallel to the students who are getting uh, availed with the facility of Maha DBT, that session will be also uh, being run after this session by Mr. Avinash Awar. But initially, the common scholarships which are available to all students. So according to that, Professor Joshi will guide you. Professor Piyus Joshi is working with Kekewag Institute of Engineering Education and Research since last 12 years. He completed his BTEC from Bartolonere and uh, various responsibilities he handling over here. Now I request Professor Joshi to continue with his session. Uh, thank you, Madam, for your uh, kind introduction. Uh, welcome students uh, to this uh, presentation for uh, scholarship available on national scholarship portal. Uh, I was previously working as an institute nodal officer. Uh, recently, uh, I handed over the charge to other staff. No problem. Uh, I will guide you throughout this process. Uh, now your stage is you just pass HSC examinations and admitted in our K, uh, prestigious KKVAG Institute of Engineering Education. And uh, now, uh, if you are getting some other scholarship, uh, I, uh, I will make you clear at this point only that you have to take only one scholarship, anyone either from state government or uh, from central government, okay? Uh, check if there is any scholarship scheme available for you provided you have to apply for only one scholarship scheme uh, that may be from uh, state or maybe from the uh, central government schemes. And uh, if you are uh, getting only one uh, scholarship, uh, either from state or central government, then you need to enroll for the scholarship schemes available on the national scholarship portal. So, uh, to make you aware about this uh, scholarship portal, uh, I purposefully keep this uh, screenshot of the website. Okay, so this is the URL, uh, scholarships.gov.in. Okay, and under this, you will find the national scholarship portal mentioned here. Okay, uh, as a first year students, uh, if you are not already registered in your schooling, then you should start by using the new registration tab. Okay. And uh, that is where you can log in after uh, the successful registration. Okay. So this uh, URL is I highlighted over here www.scholarships.gov.in. And you have to click on the new registration. So what are the benefits uh, of this national scholarship portal? Almost all scholarship schemes are under this portal and are, are uh, all this uh, scholarship application form are easy to access and online verification scheme is there. Online verification system uh, either by institute as well as the, uh, the government agencies of our government departments of different ministries. Okay, they also verify your scholarship form, whether it is uh, acceptable uh, and eligibility criteria should meet. Uh, if it is uh, accepted, then only the direct disbursement to the student's bank account can be done. Okay, so that is the uh, features of the national scholarship portal. Uh, next, how to apply? Uh, 
the students applying for the uh, scholarship for first time as i already mentioned in previous slide you need to apply as a fresh student and need to register on the portal uh, that i already mentioned www.scholarships.gov.in as a fresh applicant by providing the accurate and authenticated information when i am saying accurate it means your name should be as written uh, on your educational documents i'm uh, step by step i'm going to clear this point to you what do you mean by accurate and authenticated information as printed on your documents in the student registration form so all you need to provide your correct uh, accurate and authenticated information in the student registration form that is the first step and if you require you can get help of your parents or guardians okay if required uh, next in how to apply i purposefully keep this uh, point before initiating of the registration as fresh candidate uh, student and uh, if your parents are helping you parent or guardian then you are advised to keep the following documents ready with you the first one is the educational documents of your uh, of you okay it may include your 10th 12th certificate uh, caste certificates etc income document income certificate <coughs> <coughs> and uh, you should be ready with uh, your bank account and ipsc code because the scholarship is directly being <clears throat> just a minute <coughs> because the scholarship is uh, directly disbursed into the students account and that is why students bank account is important uh, i suggest you uh, the people uh, who are listening me uh, to please open the students bank account in the nationalized bank okay the third requirement is aadhar number for students providing aadhar number to ensure that your name is correct in your aadhar card <coughs> if aadhar card is not available then bona fide student certificate from the institute can be taken next is the aadhar enrollment id and scanned copy of bank passbook should be kept ready in order to verify your aadhar number as well as the bank account details like bank account number ipsc code of the bank branch code etc and last requirement if institute is different from the domicile state of applicant then the bona fide student certificate from the institute you need to be upload it while registering okay so these are the six important steps if required you can take the screenshot of this slide okay so that you will be ready for applying for the scholarship next uh, date of birth next important uh, information to be filled in the registration form is the date of birth <coughs> provide the date of birth as it printed on your educational certificates then the state of domicile means uh, where uh, the student which uh, student which is applying for scholarships is permanently resident of that state okay so students are required to provide their domicile uh, domicile state correctly okay because application id allotted to them will be based on the domicile state okay and this application id will also be used as login id on the portal okay so it is important okay the student needs to provide a bona fide certificate if the student's domicile state is different from the state of institute where he or she is studying then the uh, next is the scholarship category the scholarship category uh, we are applicable as a uh, we are undergraduate students uh, almost all of you are the undergraduate students so you should apply for the post matric uh, top class scholarship scheme 
merit कम means scholarship scheme for students uh, studying in the B or B Tech. Okay, uh, I am excluding all not required part from here. Okay, so as you are pursuing your uh, engineering, okay, uh, you can apply for the post metric scholarship schemes. Then next important thing uh, to be filled in the registration form is your name. Provide name as it printed on your educational certificates. Okay. Uh, and the students providing other number ensure that your name is correct in other card. Next is the next important uh, field is the mobile number. Please provide correct and verified mobile number. Okay, as all the communications, one time passwords for the different uh, steps to be completed during the application process is you is you are getting the same one time password and all communication on your mobile phone. Okay, so please provide your correct and uh, your uh, most recently used mobile number. Okay. Next is the email ID. Email ID uh, should also be correct and authenticated email ID because you can get the important communication from the national scholarship portal and one time password related to the scholarship scheme uh, on the same email ID. Okay, so that is the next important thing. Uh, next and most important is the bank account details. Please provide your active bank account number and IFSC code of the bank branch of the student. The name of the bank will be automatically mentioned based on your IFSC code. Okay. Uh, as uh, I already mentioned you, please open your uh, saving account in most of the famous uh, PSU banks like the State Bank of India, Bank of India, etc. Nationalized banks. Okay. As your convenience. Next is the identification details. Okay. So identification details, you have to select and provide the information in this field very carefully you are requ required to select one of the following method for the identification details. First is the other number. Okay, student who have other number are required to provide the 12 digit other number as printed on your other card. Okay, so uh, these are some important instructions. Okay, for filling up the registration form. So uh, how the fresh registration form looks like okay so it is the fresh registration for the academic year 20, uh, 2019 uh, 2020 okay so the state of domicile scholarship category name of student so these all mentioned details you need to fill in without any uh, mistakes okay you have to enter all the details correctly and authenticated details only <clears throat> next now uh, we will discuss about the scholarship schemes available for the uh, ministry of minority affairs the minority community communities like muslims sikhs christians buddhist jain and zoroastrians or parsis have been notified as minority communities as per the national commission for minorities the schemes available under this umbrella is the merit commence based scholarship and post matrix scholarship for the minority students. Uh, first of all, we discuss about merit commence scholarship. Uh, eligibility student of technical and professional course, 50% uh, at least 50% in last examination. Family income from all surfaces should not exceed 2.5 lakhs okay so we are engineering students so we are included in that scheme the scholarship amount is uh, 20000 per annum subject to actual which here is less okay so course fee and 20000 which here is the maximum uh, sorry which here is the less okay maintenance allowance uh, rupees 1000 per month for hosteler 
and rupees 500 per month for the day scholar is applicable <clears throat> next is the post matric scholarship scheme for the minority students the eligibility for this scholarship you should be a student of technical or professional course at least 50% uh, marks in your last qualifying examination that is hsc uh, family income from all sources should be less than 2 lakhs okay engineering students are eligible to apply for this uh, scholarship scheme scholarship scheme uh, rate of scholarship uh, it consider the admission and tuition fee of ug and pg level and rupees 3000 per annum subject to actual uh, admission and tuition fee maintenance allowance for the course other than technical so it is not applicable for the engineering students but as a information informationary part i purposefully kept this next is a department of empowerment of person with disabilities so disabilities covered under this uh, scholarship scheme is blindness low vision leprosy cured hearing impairment locomotor disability mental retardation and mental illness so if any uh, candidate is having this disability is eligible for the uh, this scholarship scheme and uh, for the top class education scheme under this uh, scholarship scheme the family income should be less than 6 lakhs and for post matric scholarship the family income from all sources should be less than 2.5 lakhs so these are some income details uh, that need to be uh, take care of okay the criteria dependent on the disabilities kindly refer the guideline available on the uh, scholarship portal that is www.scholarships.gov.in next is the department of higher education okay uh, if students having secured 80 percentile of the successful candidate in the re relevant stream from the respective board examinations that is hsc <clears throat> are equivalent or pursuing regular courses in college and institute uh, institutions recognized by aict then okay that is 80 percentile if you are achieving then you are eligible for this uh, deep, uh, central sector scholarship the scholarship amount is 10000 per annum okay pursuing the engineering would get the scholarship up to graduation level so four year you are getting uh, 10000 per annum the parental income ceiling is also uh, 8 lakh okay uh, which is uh, repeated after the year 2018-19 the income certificate would be required for the fresh, fresh applicants only so parent income certificate is another important document you need to keep handy then those whose parent are working with uh, railway ministry okay they are also getting certain kinds of scholarship uh, for fresh applicant they require the cer service certificate of their parent if they are working in the uh, railway ministry then uh, a copy of ppo or discharge certificate okay for category one two and three that is the cadre of uh, your parents then uh, applicants are required to upload duly attested scan copy of the mark sheet or grade card of 12 plus 2 okay uh, as the as it require at is uh, the requirement for the uh, undergraduate student the amount of scholarship uh, is 2000 per month for male students and uh, 2250 for the female student per month okay the payment of scholarship will be granted after the approval from director general or rpf as per the order of merit uh, in the total applications 
the detailed guidelines are available on the national scholarship portal and railway board website also next is uh, the ministry of home affairs so several uh, schemes are available nowadays on the national scholarship portal uh, the scheme is prime minister scholarship scheme for the central armed force police forces and assam rifles if your parent belong to uh, belong to the crpf or capf then you are eligible for getting this scholarship ministry next is the ministry of social justice and empowerment so top class education scheme for the sc students uh, provided your family income should be less than 6 lakhs from all sources next is the uh, the scholarship scheme available from the ministry of labor and employment the financial assistance for the education of the wards of the bd kamgar sine kamgar ioc iomc lsdm workers and that is the post matric scholarship scheme so uh, various such uh, scholarship schemes are available on the national scholarship portal and it is increasing day by day okay uh, due to covid we know there is a one swanath scholarship scheme is there okay so many such scholarship schemes are available provided you need to apply for only one scholarship okay so to be summarize with uh, the working of the scholarship you register yourself uh, on the national scholarship portal if you are not availing any other advantage of the scholarship scheme then uh, it will be your application will be verified from two at two levels first is institute and second is related ministry officers okay or scholarship officers and last step is the uh, scholarship amount is directly credited directly disbursed into the uh, beneficiary that is your account okay so that is all about the scholarship schemes available on the national scholarship portal uh, thank you uh, if anyone having question uh, i am uh, now ready to take questions uh there the is question from your end uh, are expected only related to national scholarship portal mahar dbt questions will be answered by uh, mr avinash award his presentation yet uh, is yet in wait, uh, waiting yes yes uh, so many uh, students are asking for ews uh, tfws uh so ews uh, the uh, avinash award sir will guide you yes sir, sir. me uh, hello ha uh, yes scholarship kithe percent paite teche sagle answer me na maza presentation jale anta de to ews award yes yes sir okay sir ha yes. question hota ha bol central chi ji scholarship bolle tumhi 80 percentile above sathi ha तर ती टीएफडब्ल्यू एस च्या स्टुडंटसाठी अप्लिकेबल आहे का हो ट्युशन फी वेबर स्कीम जी आहे तुमची ती ऍक्च्युली तुमच्या मार्कांमुळे तुम्हाला जे मिळालेलं आहे सीट ते आहे आणि स्कॉलरशिप इज डिफरंट पार्ट बेस्ड ऑन युअर मेरिट इफ इट इज मेरिट स्कीम तिची टेन थाउजंड पर अॅनम स्कॉलरशिप होती तिच्यासाठी मी कसं अप्लाय करू शकतो मी सांगितलं आता सुरुवातीला प्रोसिजर तसं रजिस्ट्रेशन फॉर्म भरायचा नॅशनल स्कॉलरशिप पोर्टलला ठीक आहे हा आणि हा आता तो रजिस्ट्रेशन चालू झालंय बहुतेक तर तुम्ही भरू शकता ते आणि दरवर्षी अपडेट करायचा का तो दर पुढच्या सबसिक्वेंट इयर्सला ते रिन्यू करावं लागतं ठीक आहे थँक्यू सर ओके वेलकम सर एनटीसी काय असतं सर परिणाम किती असते हॅलो सर स्कॉलरशिप पर अनेम किती असते सर आता भरलीत चालू जमेल ना सर आता चालू झालेलं आहे तर मी भरू शकतो का आता ऑनलाईन हो हो पण मी परत एकदा सांगतो सर्व विद्यार्थ्यांना कोणत्याही एकाच स्कॉलरशिप स्कीम ला अप्लाय करा ठीक आहे कारण तुमचं आधार नंबर वरून ते शेवटी ट्रॅक होत आणि ते रिकव्हर सुद्धा होत हा बाकीच्या कॉलेज मधले अनुभव आहेत आमचे कॉलेज कॉलेज मध्ये आलो तर कॉलेज मध्ये भरतात का 
ऑनलाईन कुठूनही भरू शकतो तू घरूनही भरू शकतो काही मदत लागली तर मेकॅनिकल डिपार्टमेंटला सोनाली मते म्हणून मॅडम सध्या हे काम बघत आहेत हॅलो सर बोला एनएसपी आणि महाडीबीटी दोन्ही भरले चालेल ना फॉर्म नाही नाही कोणत्याही एकाच ठिकाणी फॉर्म भरायचा मी हे पहिल्यापासून सांगतोय कोणत्याही एकाच स्कॉलरशिप स्कीमला अप्लाय करायचं कमी फीस लागू शकते का एट्टी पर्सेंट महाडीबीटी चांगली आहे की नॅशनल लागू होते का तुमचे हे सेंट्रल लेवलचा कोटा असतो त्यामुळे महाडीबीटीला जे एलिजिबल असाल त्यांनी महाडीबीटी मध्ये अप्लाय करा कारण स्टेट वाईज कोटा जो आहे तो फिक्स असतो त्यामुळे महाराष्ट्र महाडीबीटीच्या स्कॉलरशिप मिळण्याचं प्रमाण जास्त आहे ईबीसी बद्दल आवाड सर सांगणार आहे थोडा वेळ ईबीसी ओबीसी सरांनी सांगितलं किंवा तुम्ही एटी पर्सेंट ला करा तुम्ही डिसाइड करायचं ते हा ते डिसिजन तुम्हाला घ्यायचंय कोणती स्कॉलरशिप सुटेबल आहे तुम्हाला ते ठीक आहे ओके ओके इंटिमेशन नोटीस कधी जोशी सर याचे आता नॅशनल स्कॉलरशिप पोर्टल वर अवेलेबल आहे मॅडम आणि सध्या मला वाटतं ते मते मॅडम नोटीस वगैरे काढत असाव्यात ओके ओके सो थँक्यू मॅडम फॉर गिव्हिंग मी दिस ऑपॉर्च्युनिटी टू एक्सप्लोअर स्टुडंट टू द अवेलेबल स्कॉलरशिप स्कीम्स ऑन द नॅशनल स्कॉलरशिप पोर्टल थँक्यू थँक्यू सर फक्त एक पी डी एफ याची आम्हाला शेअर करून द्या आम्ही स्टुडंट व्हॉट्सअप ग्रुप वरती नक्की मॅडम नक्की करतो आणि नोटीस फक्त मते मॅडमशी कम्युनिकेशन करून स्टुडंटसाठी काही इन्फॉर्मेशन असेल प्लीज फक्त तेवढा Yes, yes, madam. Yes. Oh. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you, sir, for coordinating this activity no uh, and guiding the students. Okay. My pleasure, madam. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, our sir, we will go to 